So the new shotgun update introduced a new integrated tool known as Glaxnamate, but there's no real solid explanation of what it is or how it works. So if you came across this update and wondered what's going on, this video should help. I'm going to break this down into four categories, which are the questions that I had when I first came across this update that might help answer your questions. Well, Glaxnamate is a 2D vector drawing and animation program that is now integrated with Shotcut. When it first released, Shotcut posted it as the newest version that you can download, which the link is in the description, but they also made a Twitter post about the new version and thanking the creator of Glaxnamate for allowing to collaborate in this project. And that's pretty much it. Honestly, this program is straightforward. However, I was able to find a short article that will link down below covering the basics of what I mentioned and the rest of the Shotcut updates for this version, just in case you want to check it out. I also linked down below the direct website to Glaxnamate, which gives you a tutorial on how to use it along with the other features it offers as well. In Shotcut, it lets you apply a complex mask to your video clips by using the Drawing Mask video filter. On top of that, there's also a new dedicated window to Glaximate, which allows you to see the preview screen from the Shotcut timeline. This program will basically let you add anything from illustrations, 2D animations, emojis, images, masking, and yet another text option as well. Think of it as an overlay filter that gives you more control when animating it, sort of like keyframes in Shotcut. And you can just imagine all the use case scenarios that this might be helpful in. Before before we move on to the next point, I want to give you the opportunity to try out an amazing service that will help you take your videos to the next level, Artlist. They are a music and audio licensing platform that you can use for your own videos. They have a variety of music and sound effects, all royalty free, and I've been using them for all of my videos. And you can too by signing up with my link in the description and get an additional two months free. So thank you to Artlist for partnering up with the channel. So how do you use it? Well, I'm glad you asked. So let's jump into Shotcut and I'll give you a little tour. So as you can see, I do have a project open right now and there's two ways to get to the Glaximate window. One is by selecting your video clip from the timeline, going to filters and then adding a new filter. In this case, we want to look for the mask draw Glaximate filter. And then you can add that and you can open a new mask or just edit it from the editor itself. The second way is by going to open other and selecting on animate. This will prompt a new window for you and you just want to click on open or save. Now it will automatically open Glaxinimate, which is a separated window. And I know it's a lot to take in, but it's pretty straightforward once you get used to it. Here we can see all the controls that Glaxinimate has, such as the timeline, the preview screen, as well as all the controls it has on either side. And of course you can explore all the tools that Glaxinimate offers, such as adding masks, shapes, freehand, and as well as text. But you can also save these project files onto Shotcut. And like I explained early on, there's no one way to use Glaxomate. It honestly lends itself for you to make any elements that you can think of. And once you're done making or adjusting your element, you can always close that and it'll automatically save to your Shotcut project that you're editing your video on and you can implement it in there as well. Now, as I said before, this is a second window that Glaxomate is open under. However, you can always separate these two so you can see your actual Shotcut editor and the Glaxomate window separated as well. This question is entirely dependent on you and your own workflow. When it comes to adding new tools, I always ask myself, how convenient is it to use? Will it make a certain task easier and faster to do, or will it just be an extra step in the way? And this is entirely dependent on how you use it. It may be a huge benefit for some or just a neat little tool for others. But nonetheless, it's a new feature that many already have embraced. And looking at the big picture, it looks like Shotcut has been making the right moves. So good on them. And believe me when I say that there will be more videos about this new tool coming soon, so subscribe so you don't miss that. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.